Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the media. First of all, let me apologize uh, for starting this uh, press conference late. And um, I'd now like to introduce the Attorney General of Bermuda, the Honorable Kathy Lightborn Simmons. Good day, everyone. I'm here to advise that the District Court of Massachusetts has come to a decision in the case that was brought against the Leahy Clinic by the government of Bermuda. I must say from the outset that the result is what I had anticipated from the beginning. However, given the politically charged nature of the case, and as Attorney General, the decision to proceed had to be based on sound legal principles, logical analysis, and by an independent assessor, devoid of any political influences. It was of paramount importance, especially in light of the impending international assessment that Bermuda affirms itself as a mature financial center where sound legal decision making is based on the rule of the law. In her decision, District Judge Indira Talwani, as the independent assessor, determined that Bermuda has not shown that it suffered any domestic injury as a result of the alleged bidding scheme and that Bermuda failed to meet the basic showing that the preferred provider scheme led to an economic injury. Consequently, Judge Talwani found that as Bermuda could not show that it suffered any injury within the United States as a result of the alleged scanning scheme, Bermuda's claims under the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act arise out of extraterritorial injuries and must be dismissed. Therefore, Judge Talwani has ordered that Leahy's motion to dismiss the action brought against them is allowed, and therefore she has determined that Bermuda's claims against Leahy are dismissed and the case is now closed. I'm happy to take any questions yeah. that you may have. It sounds, it sounds as if this is um, a, a ruling. I haven't actually read the ruling yet, mm -hmm. but um, it, it, would it be correct to say that it's essentially a ru ruling that is out of their jurisdiction and it should be heard somewhere else in Bermuda, for example? She's no, saying that, that the case has been dismissed. Quite frankly, I haven't had time to analyze the entire decision. We've just received it, but we're clear on the outcome. The case is dismissed. So from our perspective, it is closed and we don't intend to proceed any further. Okay. When you use words, words like extraterritorial, um, it's, it does sound like a jurisdictional issue. But I'll ask another question. Mm -hmm. um, you had, when you last addressed this matter a couple of months ago, three or four months ago, I think, um, you talked about files um, not being found in the Attorney General's office, and you had to go to the lawyers in the U.S. To, can you... Go over that again for us, please. Why were the files not there? Do you know? Did you I find can't that speak, out? I can't speak to the administrative procedures that govern that. I can only repeat what I told you on a previous occasion, that when I took office, there were no files related to this case. And so we were charged with responsibility to get them in from the overseas attorneys, which we have done. We've undergone that process throughout this matter, and I'm satisfied that we have most, if not all of them, and we will continue that Given the conclusion of this at this stage, we will make sure that for the record, all the property of the governor of Bermuda has been returned. Um, if the files were in the office and mm -hmm. they're no longer there when you took over government, doesn't that cause any concern? Are you concerned about that? There are procedures that we have to undertake to determine what actually took place during the transfer of responsibility from the former administration to this administration, and that's a process that we will undertake. Our priority at this stage was to see this proceeding to its logical conclusion, which we have today, and we will deal with any ancillary mat matters at a later time. So the government doesn't plan to pursue any further legal action in respect of this issue? Leahy is a very valued um, community partner of the government of Bermuda, and we intend to make sure that we maintain that relationship for our community's benefit. Back to my last, my other question. Um, are you saying you're going to investigate what happened? <coughs> In, in the transition period in this matter? That's a process that will be ongoing. I wouldn't say we're going to investigate it in terms of bringing any charges at this stage, but we will take the appropriate steps to determine what actually took place. Okay. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, are, are you in a position to say at what cost to the taxpayer? 
this has all been? We don't have a final cost at this stage. Um, it's well over $1 million. Um, and so we will come back with a definitive cost on that. I think it's important that the public know what the costs surrounding these proceedings are, but we will certainly come back. But at this stage, I'm not prepared to definitively give you um, a figure. You stated the words politically charged. Mm -hmm case, in hindsight being you're the successor to the man who orchestrated this, any views? Um, the only view I can give at this time is in relation to the decision making surrounding this and I've said publicly before that this was a very delicate balance that had to be struck between the law and politics. As you know there are political sensibilities around this and the narrative that preceded um, this government coming to office was about um, politically motivated um, prosecution proceedings etc. I'm satisfied that this case has been dealt with by the most independent arbiter that there could be separate and apart from the politics and therefore the decision is sound. And shortly after your appointment in your first press conference you stated and I know this is not related but you said you'll be reviewing this whole Port Royal issue and mm -hmm. have a statement. Have you been in a position? To That's still in train and at the appropriate time as I promised with Leahy I will come with a statement regarding Port Royal. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, good afternoon. Hello. Just, I know I'm going over a bit of old ground. Are you specifically ruling out the possibility of pursuing it any further Absolutely. in the island? Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.